Then he said, for different types of grazing livestock and their quantities. Al Ghanam, sheep and goats. From the quantity of 40 to 120, one goat is due. From a quantity of 121 to 200, two goats are due. From a quantity of 201 to 300, three goats are due. And then for every 100 sheep, one extra goat is due. The following are not accepted as a a male goat, an old goat, a goat with defects, and shirar al mal, worst of one's wealth. On the other hand, the following are also not accepted as a an extremely thin and weak goat, a pregnant goat, an extremely healthy goat, and the khiyar al mal, the best of one's wealth. For camels that have one or two humps, the quantity from five to nine, the cat do on it is one goat. For camels from ten to fourteen, two goats are due. From camels from fifteen to nineteen, three goats are due. From camels from twenty to twenty-four, four goats are due. From camels are tw camels are twenty camels are twenty-five to thirty-five, a bin mahal is due. From camels from thirty-six to forty-five, a bin laboon is due. Camels from 46 to 60, al hiqa is due. Camels from 61 to 75, al jadaa is due. Camels from 76 to 90, two bint laboon are due. Camels from 91 to 120, two hiqas are due. Camels from 121 to 129, three bint laboon are due. Then for every 40, one bint laboon is due. And for every 50, one hiqa is due. And waqas is nine and less. And waqas is that which falls between two obligatory ranges of quantity. For cows and buffaloes, the quantity of 30 to 39, one male or female tabi'a are due. 40 to 59, one musanna is due. And from 60 to 69, two female tabi'a are due. Then for every 30, one male tabi'a is due. And for every 40, one musanna is due.